On Monday, the second day of a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, Israel had already begun pulling its troops out of a devastated Gaza. It was the first day of actual calm, neither Hamas nor Israel fired. Israel, meantime, said that it planned to have its troops out of Gaza by Tuesday in a symbolic gesture to the inauguration of Barack Obama in Washington. In Gaza, Palestinians began digging out after three weeks of airstrikes and fighting between Hamas and Israel. Hamas members came out of hiding, donning their uniforms, cleaning up and directing traffic to show some semblance of order in Gaza. Hamas leaders made statements saying that no matter how destructive this war, Israel had not achieved its goal of crippling Hamas. New York Times correspondent Ethan Bronner is in Gaza City. There was the first government press conference today uh, since the war uh, began and certainly since it ended. Two spokesmen, the spokesman of the Ministry of Interior, Ihab al Hussein, and uh, the spokesman for the Prime Minister, the government spokesman, called Tahir al Nunu. And these two men spoke about how this had been a victory that Israel set out in this war to defeat Hamas, to uh, stop them from uh, uh, shipping rockets. But in fact, throughout the war, Hamas functioned, and they have plenty of rockets left. So uh, clearly, uh, it was not a success from their point of view. Hamas and Israel continued to blame each other for the suffering of civilians in Gaza. Many hundreds of women and children were killed in the war. New York Times correspondent Sabrina Tavernese spent Monday assessing the damage inside Gaza City. I saw some of uh, the areas in Gaza City that had had the most destruction uh, in, the, in the past few weeks. One of them was an area called Tuam. Uh, some of the buildings had been uh, collapsed entirely um, in Israeli airstrikes. The rooms were exposed to the outside. Families were taking out pieces of broken furniture and salvaging what they could from the insides, um, loading them away on donkey carts and horses and old pickup trucks um, with their families in tow. It's too early to tell whether the ceasefire will hold. Both sides say that any breach will be met with new violence. But the outside world is already turning its attention to rebuilding, promising billions of dollars in reconstruction aid that they hope will distract from this latest skirmish in the Arab-Israeli war.